God our Father, we come as people of praise because of the beauty with which you have surrounded us. The coming of fall, the changing of the colors, the marvels in the sky, and all of the things that happen at this time of the year that bring us together as a community. As we come tonight, we pray a blessing upon each of us gathered here and upon each of the people that we serve. We ask that you give us your light, your courage, your inspiration. Direct all that we do so that every work that begins, every thought that proceeds from us is truly the work that you would have us do and the thought that you would have us think. We pray this in your name. Amen. Uh, additions to the agenda. Citizen comments, Sam check her questions regarding skating rink maintenance and rent from the life program. Fire Department, Drew Nickloffer, Jeremiah Coyle, Troy Fisher, and Anna Christy Blake, City and East Saeed Are there any other additions to the agenda? Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4-0. the last two weeks um, I'm kind of ashamed the way it looks inside we have tiles falling off the ceiling we have one tile that completely fell out during dance class about hit a kid I was told um, there's four or five lights that's burn out and as nice a building I'm sure the wits would not appreciate it looking that way inside if we could have those things fixed that would be wonderful I don't know if it's a city that takes care of it or here. Yeah, we do take care of it. And uh, assume we weren't aware okay. is all I can do because if we have been aware, we certainly would take care of it. And there, by that back exit door on the side, there is, I don't know what has been hit against that wall, but the plaster is actually falling off because it's been hit so hard with something. Okay. Maybe when they were taking something in or out of the building, I don't know. But that needs to be addressed also. All right. And then um, my other question is regarding the grant for the life program. Is it agreed upon the city that they can only bring the kids down there from the school program on Tuesday nights? Yes. Okay. On like Tuesdays after school. And is it a problem if we ask them maybe to bring them a different night? Because that's taking a lot of income away from the person that's running it. Because there's 32 kids last Tuesday, 32 kids again this Tuesday. Okay. And are we talking skate rental? Yes. And what is skate rental currently? It's a dollar a kid on Tuesdays. Okay. So, <coughs> the program purchased a little over $4,900 worth of new skates for the skate rental. Mm -hmm. So that they are, so that the program could take advantage of the rate. I understand that, that if we allow them to use a different night of the week, then you're not taken away from the people that's running it. I mean, the agreement was with the city, not the person running it. Okay, I understand that. So what you're suggesting is that they bring the kids down and they handle everything. Yes. Um, we can discuss it with them. Okay, because that's what Laura was actually doing before we decided to run it. Okay. And she thought it would take too many kids out of the program, but that's not really, I mean, that's not our fault. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but I also understand, <coughs> excuse me, that they spent, <coughs> excuse me, they spent $4,900 on skates that the manager gets the advantage of having the equipment. I mean, we don't pull those skates off the shelf to but whether them. we had a grant or not, those kids would still have skates to stay with them as well. We can I could just we can discuss it with her and see if we can't work something out. Are there that many pairs of new skates there? There's quite a few uh, new pairs of skates, but not probably five thousand dollars worth of them. Yeah, there's about four thousand I got the inch 
they purchased close in one shot they purchased thirty seven hundred in skates and another one eleven hundred in skates. Um, according to to like Vicky and, and Nick, it was close to fifty to sixty skates, brand new skates that are being used down there. <coughs> That's the invoice in all of Vicky's correspondence with Nick that went along with that grant. I did go to Skate Nick last Saturday, the Saturday yes. before, and it's sad. Yeah. Jeff says that And I do have pictures if anybody wants to see them. They're on my phone in the ceiling and what needs to be fixed. I just think we need to get it And I don't know how long ago, if we've ever, because I was in grade school when we opened that skating rink. That's how long it's been in St. John. Yes, Troy, shake your hand. I'm old. Um, <laughs> but has the floor ever been resurfaced that anybody knows? Because it does have quite a good chunk of time. That is something that we've done something. Uh, I think that the work we're supposed to be doing something with that. Okay. That's something that Adam and Bailey started the process on. And I don't know, I don't remember where it got left. I think they were getting quotes. And we were trying to figure out where to come up with the money to be able to do the work that needed to be done because we can only use the interest off that trust. We can't use the principal. So we will get the immediate repairs taken care of. And then I do believe we budgeted money next year to do some repairs. We also have encumbrance money. Yeah, that's not going to be good. <coughs> We've got $900 encumbered. cover. I don't think that's going to deal with the floor issue. So, um, but it is something that we have discussed and we're looking at ways to deal with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, consent agenda. Proof that it's from a regular meeting of 10-6-2015. Approve appropriation ordinance 10-20-2015 in the amount of $32,000. $133.59. Comments, questions, concerns? So moved. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4 0. Chief Saylor. Uh, the only thing I got is on uh, this coming Sunday, the 25th, the library from 3 to 5. We're going to have a copy, copy with a copy book. It's going to be sponsored by the library, the friends of the library. They're going to provide um, copy and cookies and stuff like that. Um, it will be just another opportunity for the community to come out and visit with us and see what's going on or provide any input that they might have. All right. Thank you for letting us know. That's all I've got. Chief Sanders. The only thing I have is to remove those three, Nick, Popper, Jeremiah Quell, and Troy Fisher, and then that, Mr. Blankstein, you say, it's awesome. Yeah. So good. Yeah. 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 Second. Ready for the discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries for a lot of Okay. Um, Corey and I, we, we discussed this week about the weed letters. We've had, we've had some complaints. We've had some other issues brought up with them. But we pretty much are in consensus that because of the weather and the season ending, we're just going to stop sending out the weed letters. And then hopefully that will give us time to maybe implement a better system for this next coming up spring. Um, some of the complaints were that pe some people were getting it, other people were the city wasn't taking care of theirs, so why are we getting a letter? So we just thought it was best that we just we just stop since it's getting colder outside. And the other thing is I wanted to remind you guys that next week um, is when the agreed upon procedure audit is scheduled. It's scheduled from October 27th through the 29th, so Aaron will be here to conduct that. And then um, the fall, uh, November 1st through the 6th, um, I'll be out of the office so I can attend the Clerk Certification Institute in Wichita. So Vicki will be here to take the minutes for you guys, and she'll be able to get a hold of me if you guys need anything. Uh, lastly, in order for me to order Corey's credit card, I need someone to make a motion 
so that can be done, and that way I can get it approved, and we can get him his credit card. Uh, his spending limit is two thousand. Second. Ready for the discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries four. Well, I don't have a terrible lot to add right now. I've been uh, sifted through <laughs> a, a mountain of paperwork and going through a lot of stuff that we have addressed last week. So, meter issues, we've got those taken care of. So, um, we're going to do a whole lot better job getting, getting the meters read and, and turning in correct. So, just moving forward, we fix this patching repair over here right in front of the school. Um, we got that taken care of. Uh, I got the okay from Mr. Meyer to proceed on the back. Um, he wanted us to take care of some potholes and stuff in the um, playground area. And we're going to try to move on that here very shortly. I'd say in the next week, weather permitting. Very good. Um, we might. <coughs> That's it, yeah. That's all I have. When uh, this was added to the agenda, it was a bigger deal than it is now. I guess I reviewed the, you guys got information from three houses during our council meeting. I got home and I reviewed those. I noticed one was a deceased owner and the other was a somebody from outside the state, Oregon to be exact. Uh, my request was that when I, come, I was going to come back to the council and say, don't waste your time taking somebody from Oregon to court and they're not going to show up. Um, just to abate the problem, and then I was talking to LaDonna today, and apparently there are paying tenants, or soon paying, paying, or at least tenants in those properties, so the tenants are actually going to get complaints filed against them for four years on the next court date, the second week in, uh, in, in November. So I really don't have anything to add to that now, except that the tenants don't clean the property. If you want to get the landowners involved, my only suggestion is to abate Nobody from Oregon is going to appear in our municipal court. And even if I convince the judge to issue a benchmark, the city's not going to want to pay Chief Sailor to fly to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I thinking about that if, if, if we get to that point. And, and, I, and I would add about the weed letters, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's how it is. Fair and equitable way of doing it over the walking the streets every day for the ruler. Make sure we die. Is there any new business? Um, also in the packet was a copy of the letter that was sent to trash service. <coughs> issues. So we will bring it back on the first meeting in January and see where we're at. Being no other business, I need to motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Opposed?